and today we're going to be looking at reflection and reflection. So what is reflection and reflection? Oh, oh my god, I'm ruining the names. Anyway, here's a quick summary. So let's say that we take a baby. It's going to be a particularly ugly one. So let's say we take this guy. He's gonna look like this and this is him, the baby. And yeah, he looked pretty dumb, but I promise you not to worry. Anyways, let's see what happens if we put him in a mirror. What happens is the, the light wave goes here, bounces off the baby, goes in the mirror, and then bounces onto the baby's eye, where it then get, goes into the cornea, and the brain processes it. Not much of a brain in here to begin with, probably this small. Anyways, uh, now you can see the full map of the maybe as well as had the light path uh, from the sky to the baby's eye. So now this is basically what, what reflection is. It takes a wave, which we call the incident wave. So, in second wave, and it takes that at a certain angle called theta i, or theta incident. And then there's a reflection of that. And we call this angle theta r. This is the reflection wave. And it's a weird thing. Theta incident is always equal to theta reflection. So now, oh geez. This is basically what reflection is. Now let's move on to refraction. Refraction is when light bends. So it's a little more interesting and contentful than, uh, you know, reflection. So let's say we have a glass of water here, modest glass of water, and you take a light wave over here. So basically, let's say that you have a straw dunked in here. That straw will go in here. And the, and on the outside, it will look fine in the air, but in water, it will look bent. The light will look bent, watery, and in a place it's very not uh, supposed to be. So, how does this happen? Well, when light when light is uh when light is traveling from one medium to another then and since its frequency won't budge then it has to change its wavelength and that wavelength change change it uh, uh results into a change of direction and that change of direction leads to this very warped thing you see here. That exact change of direction is determined by the fascinating Snell's law, in which you take mm, n, or, or you take um, the incident wave, and then, no, you take the uh, index of refraction of the f first material or medium, then you divide it by the angle of incidence or the angle at which the 
And the thing was, in the first medium, is equal to, and prime, which is the, uh, you know, index of refraction of the second medium, in this case, water, divided by sine theta of the reflection. So, I think you guys can see how this works. It's a pretty simple explanation, and as a result of this oversimplification, uh, a, a few things were are left out that we will discuss in our future episodes. But for now, it's a brief summary of reflection and refraction. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Anybody got to stop the live? Yeah. Just put it on the, yeah.